guys how are you doing i hope you are doing great as you can see this beautiful lady she is just crying because of what white lady do to her and what it will take for you to be nice what we take what is it going to take it's not going to take anything so this lady is on a wheelchair and she is trying to get a fee she can't get a fee and the white lady that's supposed to help her are just watching her and she refused to fill a car so then she bring the video on tiktok here was a bunch of people reacting to this video and even reporting the gas station online because of that gas station they have to do something about this y'all when i say i don't even get on social media and i don't even do all of this but i'm at 2007 Brownsboro world and i'm trying to get gas my son's in the car with me like i cannot physically fucking walk if you know me you know i'm in the bush you know i use assistance i have hand controls the lady literally just told me i don't know how to pump gas i'm like come on like it's self-explanatory self-explanatory self like i just need you to put the gas in there and i can show you what to do like she gonna holler well if you driving you can walk right and i'm trying to explain to her like i cannot walk i'm paralyzed she gonna holler how are you driving once again i'm using assistance why does that even fucking matter it's a whole wheelchair sound right here on this motherfucking gas pump so that means if i need assistance you supposed to help me when I say being in a wheelchair, this is the shit I heard that I hate the motherfucking most. And then I asked the bitch for her name. She gonna holler, I ain't got no name. Why don't you walk in the store and find out? Like, real shit. Yeah, when I tell you that this video pissed me off. I'm, I'm not... Mm. I first want to start off by, by apologizing to Miss Winter Marie for even for I'm sorry you had to go through that love. That is that is that is uncalled for, so unprofessional, and just just so disrespectful. Like this is why being educated is very detrimental. Okay, there's a lot of people out in the world who act just like that and really set us set people who are in the who are disabled in the disabled community like me back so much they set us back so bad because they refuse to get to understand the different type of disabilities and understand why we come and ask for help i don't understand you you this lady worked at a job that helps people with disabilities whenever they ask for assistance to either pump gas or to help with like to help with anything honestly if they need help with it and you tell a paralyzed person, oh, well, you can go ahead and get up and walk up in there. And she's letting you know that she cannot get up and walk. Like, and don't get me wrong. There are different, there are different people who are in the disabled community who do have different things that they use to help them walk if they are able to still walk. You know what I mean? There's different de type of disability out there. And so the fact that you sit, you sat and told a paralyzed woman who needed your assistance, to get up and walk and go do whatever because you didn't want to do your job is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Y'all, we cannot continue to grow as a nation or grow together if we can't even sit here and get to know one another, get to know different disabilities, get to get to to, to be helpful to one another. Like, I mean, I don't know what that lady had going on. I don't know what they had got going on, but I, you you sat there and made somebody feel so little and less of themselves, crying in their car because they needed help, and you refused to help because of whatever, dog. I, y'all, it's just baffling to me. It is baffling to me. But all I want to say is that we really need to do better as people to go help others, no matter what situation they have. Like it it, is, it doesn't matter what disability or if you're able body, there's no reason why there should be that hatred in the world to do that to somebody else. And then they think it's okay and walk back in your job like, oh, it ain't nothing. Y'all. Now, the young lady you just saw in the rest there is Winner Marie, and this is her page. Now, she was describing a situation that occurred at a gas station in Louisville, Kentucky, named Thornton's. And on the gas pump, there is a handicap sticker that indicates that they have someone on duty to help handicapped people pump their gas. And when she made the request of the clerk there, 
that is the exchange and how it turned out that you saw her referencing in her video. Now, as I said, this is in Louisville, Kentucky. Here is the address for the exact Thornton's that Winner was at when this incident took place. And like I say, this is the contact information and this is a call to action. Those of you all who are outside of the immediate area, make sure you call and voice your displeasure with how Winner was treated. And those of you all who are in the area, let's circulate this around and show people how Thornton's employees are treating their customers. And let's make sure some kind of repercussions are felt by that employee who disrespected and dismissed a handicapped black woman with her son in the car. Yeah. All right. Have the assignment. Let's get it. And also go to winner's page. You know how racism is so common that it can happen to a black person a billion times a day and they can still not sue for it just because it happens that often that is pretty much watered down at this point. And if you aren't being literally hung from a tree, they're like, hey, you'll be fine. Yeah. Black people aren't going to sue every time somebody's racist towards them, just like disabled people aren't going to sue every time somebody violates their fucking rights. It happens a billion times a day, a trillion times a day. Y'all don't realize that black disabled people have even less rights than black people. But even if she did sue, there's a very high chance that the judge would be like, well, why didn't you just go to another gas station? Why don't you have somebody there to pump your gas with you if you know you're disabled? Blah, 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 blah. They will spin that shit and find a way to make it her fault. Ableism is so ingrained that a lot of people believe it's, on, it's the disabled person's fault for not having every single accommodation in the world when there are not a lot of accommodations. Winter, I am so sorry that that happened to you. That is god awful. And there's not much to say other than that absolutely shouldn't have happened. There are a lot of evil and ignorant ass people that just like do not care about disabled people at all. And there's a lot of people in the comment section saying you should sue, you should do this, you should do that. The best course of action in situations like this is public pressure, which is why I'm glad to see that your video is getting a lot of responses. You can also contact advocates of the Protection and Advocacy Agency. Your best bet, though, might be the ACLU. But I need people to understand that, like, they view the ADA the same way they view the Civil Rights Act, which is that once it passed, that discrimination was over. And there's all this recourse that could happen, like, once you're discriminated against as a disabled person. There are so many caveats to the Americans with Disabilities Act. And there are so many limitations on what disabled people can actually do to get some sort of legal accountability. Like, this is an everyday thing. This isn't just like, oh, this happens. This is every day. Every day for disabled people, and it should not be. And that pissed me off. So, it was one time that I went to like a, what was it, like a 7 Eleven, I believe. And I asked the lady, um, I called ahead and I was like, hey, do you pump gas for people in wheelchairs? And it wasn't her fault, but she was the only cashier in there. So, I did have to wait a few minutes for her to come out and pump my gas. But the fact that it says on the pump, oh, if you're in a wheelchair, call for assistance. And then y'all got rude ass people working like that at the gas station that's supposed to be assisting people in wheelchairs. That shit is not cool. Now, see me, I've been in my wheelchair for going on seven years on the 23rd of this month. So I, I, it takes me maybe three, four minutes to pump gas. And that means getting in and out, you know, doing all the extra shit. But not everyone has the same luxury as me that are in wheelchairs because it is fucking difficult. It is hard. And if you don't build your strength up for that shit, it's hard and it's tiring. Every day I don't feel like pumping gas for myself so my husband will do it. But for people that don't have help, the signs say, bitch, I'm going to help you. Bitch, help her. I feel so sorry for her and I really hope that she sues the fuck out of that gas station and that lady. And that lady better hope that, God forbid, God forbid, I'm not wishing this on her, but she better hope she's never in that situation where she needs someone else to help her out because she physically cannot do it. Because one thing about God, he definitely has a sense of humor and she better hope that she don't get the short end of the stick being rude to somebody like that. And if y'all go back and look at her last video, she did post the number and the location. So y'all know what to do. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. And... I guess, like, I didn't understand the story at first because I'm like, why is she making it a big deal to, like, pump your gas if you pull up to the gas station? And I realized then, and I think I'm right, that you might be from the South, just off your tone of your voice. I'm from Massachusetts. Like, there's full-service gas stations up here. Like, I was just talking to one of my friends who are from the South, and they were confused when I put up to the gas station, and I handed the person money and was telling them what type of gas and how much to put in it. 
They're like, what are you, what are you doing? I was like, I'm getting gas. They're like, wait, you don't pump yourself? I said, no. There's full service and then there's self-service, you know? So it's just one of those things where you realize, like, not every place got it like that. And I'm so sorry that that happened. I mean, there's no need for you to uproot your whole entire family, whatever. But there, I don't know if there's any other places, whatever. But, like, there are states that offer a full service. Like, you know, New Jersey, it's illegal to pump your own gas. You know what I'm saying? So there are places where you do get, you know, help and service without needing asking for help and service when it comes to simple tasks like that. Obviously, you don't need to move your whole family. But I'm... I just think it's crazy, like, you don't realize how different, you know, places in the same country that you live in work, um, even when it comes to the simplest things, as in pumping gas. And that's cr- buffoonery. You should have even explained yourself at all to the winch that you need to help pumping gas, whether you had children with you or not. That is so dumb. Only question for this person that's sitting there in the service station doing nothing like what did you gain from this whole entire experience like what did you gain from not helping this person who is disabled like when disabled people say that they are discriminated against i just i knew it was a thing but this was uncalled for and we all know why she didn't get up. Let's just be honest. Like, let's be honest. We all know why she didn't get up. She looked at her and said, mm, you can walk. You can drive. You can walk. Like, people don't have self-driving cars now. It's 2023. I wasn't going to say much. But... This is the type of stuff that I said about being compassionate for one another. Like, that's, that's sad. Like, and it's something as simple as, that was that girl's job to help that lady. She asked him more questions than a little bit. Why? If somebody tell y'all to say they disabled or whatever, or have a parking sticker or whatever had you may be, and y'all sit there and ask that person, well, let me see your disability, you are a part of the problem. That lady already probably fe- ha- have a certain way she feel about herself. And you you making it worse. Not to say she feel any way small about herself because she's a gorgeous woman. But it's the point on having to depend on somebody. When I was pregnant, I couldn't walk for about a week. And having to depend on... On everybody and their mama to help you. And then to know that some people were huffing and puffing to help. That shit is sickening. Especially the people that's supposed to be helping. What the fuck are we picking jobs for? If we don't want to help people. You need to go in, in, into a, a, a industry where you don't have to deal with customers. If you're not going to help people. She ain't say pay for the fucking gas with your own money. She just simply said, can you assist her with pumping the gas? I don't know. To me, I would love to do that. Why? Because it would give me some fresh air. It would give me some space outside. No. Like, maybe I try to see the bigger picture and everything, but maybe that's what more people need to start doing. Looking at the bigger picture. We too busy talking about me, 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 me. And we need to get back to fucking helping each other. We got to do better, bro. First of all, I'm sorry that happened. Second of all, how did I know that was exactly what that lady was going to look like? Dear my beautiful sis, don't you cry. Wipe your eyes. It's okay. Um, I know what you mean when you say you hate people. But like everybody is not people. And we have to stop that narrative about putting everybody in one container, one jar. Because for the people that do care and that matter and that try to make the world a better place, it's like we get stuck in that jar too. And it's like, please don't do me. Because I know she was horrible. Like, I swear I would have cussed her ass out for you, sis. Um, and I would have helped you out if I was near, if I was there to even be able to help you. But understand this. like, And this is like one of those great teachable moments where it's like people are a reflection of how they feel inside. So she may think she feel like she may thought 
that you know like ha ha like you're not getting over on me but i promise you like and we know this and things that i speak like i speak it as a master enlightener because i've been through it and i know how people work and how the mind works because you know that's also another one of my like niche um and anytime somebody projects on you just know that it's because it's a reflection of their, their own life like she probably asked somebody like can i get some extra sauce because she probably that person that'd be at, on the restaurant and you know when they order their food and ask for sauce and they forget her sauce and she gets brushed over just like you know because she looks like that type of person that has that aura that kind of just gets blended in and so when she gets sick and tired of it she's like you know because i've had that moment where it was like i was like you know what i'm sick of people i'm just gonna i'm gonna start treating people the way they treat me we all go through that phase in life where it's like you you get fed up but the real test of time is when you can understand that everybody's not on your level like and everybody doesn't have the heart that you have and everybody does not have the mindset that you have and one thing that i learned in the spiritual journey is that everybody goes at their own pace some people never do it and then some people do do it all you can do is focus on you 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 don't shed them tears it's time to release that shit let it go because i always say i want the universe to get the people back let the universe have her ass when it comes to karma don't wish her bad wish her all she deserved like people like this we wish them what they deserve so when she walking out that store went one night and she think the hell i can get no better and she tripping she fall face four and land flat on it yeah baby yeah yeah <laughs> It happens like that. When she's trying to figure out why every person she talks to it just seems like they have the same thing going on and like her life, her love life is shit and she's going to probably be an old woman with cats. Yeah, baby. People live true hell in their day-to-day -day lives. Don't let her try to sprinkle some of her hell fire on your sunny skies. Keep your head up, sis. Be beautiful inside and out. And uh, y'all have a grand day.